Mr. President. Good. Mr. President. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the brief statement that I would make, I want to first of all, uh, as a Secretary of Agriculture and uh, concerned about food production in this country, but also a Secretary of Agriculture that has traveled to many countries in the world, I initially acknowledge in rural America some tough times and some severe stress. But as we watch the television and see the newspaper accounts and magazine accounts of the hunger in the eyes of children and mothers and families and the, the heartbreak that you can see there and the loss of life, we indeed appreciate the great blessing we have in this country, our production capacity and our surpluses, a problem sometimes to a Secretary of Agriculture, a really a wonderful thing that we have such abundance in this land. And as I've traveled other countries, American agriculture, wherever you go, is the envy of the world because food is a basic necessity of life and so many countries just don't have the amount of food that they would like to have. The United States of America, the United States under President, and here today, he has an announcement. Jack, thank you very much. I'm happy to announce that the United States is taking additional actions today to provide increased assistance to the victims of the terrible drought which affects major parts of Africa. 300,000 metric tons of wheat from our government reserve is being made immediately available for emergency food programs. In addition, $50 million from other accounts is being transferred for emergency food use. Finally, additional requirements are under review, and if necessary, we will seek additional resources from the Congress. These actions are in addition to unprecedented American efforts which have been underway for many months. During the last fiscal year, we provided 500,000 tons of emergency food to Africa. This $170 million grant was more than in any previous year. On July 10th of this year, I announced a five-point initiative to speed up U.S. delivery of emergency food aid. And in the past two months, we surpassed all of last year's levels, 600,000 tons of food with a value of more than $250 million. The people of Africa continue to be in desperate need, and the cost in human lives, as Jack has told us, is horrible. The United States will continue to uphold our humanitarian tradition. While our emergency aid seeks to help remedy today's suffering, our regular programs of development and assistance will continue to work to eliminate the root cause of famine. These programs will help Africa grow more food in the years to come. And beyond any governmental program, however, I want to pay tribute to the outpouring of support which the African crisis has produced in the private community. Organizations such as CARE, Catholic Relief, Lutheran World Service, AfriCare, the Red Cross, the International Rescue Committee, Save the Children Fund, and many others have provided the manpower on the ground which has permitted programs to reach those most needing assistance. The contributions and support of millions of caring individuals have been absolutely stunning and are essential. And this is America at its very best. We in the government and those in the private sector recognize that much more needs to be done. And in the weeks and months ahead, we'll do everything possible to assist in this important life-saving work. Thank you, and God bless you all. And I will now sign. Get around here.
Mr. President, are you willing to cut defense spending by $8 billion? We have all the that, that will probably not under discussion yet uh, because we have the Secretary of Defense, so we're looking at what we can tell the Secretary when he returns. What would you advise him to do? Welcome back. Thank you. 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 Thank you